Hi, I'm Robert from BikeMet, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create routes using our route planner. I will first show you how to draw your own routes by simply clicking on the map, and then I'll show you how to use our various routing options, and finally how to solve any potential routing issues that may arise using our freehand tool. I will then discuss how to make sure your routes are synchronized from the web to your phone, and how to connect your Garmin device. So when you start your route planner, uh, you'll see the fields on the left-hand side of the screen that tell you to enter a starting point and a destination. However, if you just want to draw the route directly on the map, uh, you don't need to use these fields. You can click simply on the map to set your first waypoint like so. And then I can add a second waypoint somewhere else uh, by clicking on the map again. And as you can see, the points will be connected automatically by our route planner and you'll be able to see an overview of your route in the sidebar on the left. Uh, this will include the route statistics and the surface information, etc. And yes, the route will automatically snap to the road network, as you can see, and you can just simply keep going along to create more points and add to your route as it goes. If you, however, would prefer to have a more simple planning experience and not plot every 30 meters uh, along the map, for example, you can really take advantage of our routing profiles. Uh, so to do this, you can either put your starting point address and destination in the box on the left there, or you can, like before, click on the map uh, to get your starting point like so, and click on a destination, for example, over here, and the bike map route planner will generate a route for you based on your routing profile. Uh, however, if you want, you can change your routing profile. Um, so on the left here, you have a drop down menu. Uh, we have quite a few options. Currently, it's on balance, but you can choose, for example, a road bike, which will change the route uh, to a more, in this instance, more asphalted road, which is obviously perfect for road bike. Or you could change it to mountain bike, which will do it more over on off-road terrain and uh, generally a bit more hilly. So now we have our route here that was created by the Vitemap routing profile that you chose. Uh, you might like it and you might want to simply press save, or you might have made a mistake, like accidentally put an extra point down there. You can delete this by pressing the undo button or by doing a left click on the last point you created, such as that. And yes, personally, I, I quite like this route how it is. Um, but for example, if I wanted to make it a longer route, I could um, utilize the dragging technique. So how I do that is to go anywhere on the route and just drag it all the way over to Kreuzberg, and that's made it a lot longer. Or if I want to make it even longer, like all the way around here, for example, so a proper day trip, uh, I can drag it again, and it goes all the way around. And then it's done this, but you might want to uh, really stay on the cycling path. So, for example, this cycling path here, and this cycling path here. Uh, so how you would do that is um, to edit small segments of the route, is to put control points at each end of the segment that you want to edit. And you can do this by clicking on the polyline. Um, and yeah, so I have put two control points there. And then you can see that this middle bit is the one that's being highlighted in light blue, right? And that is the bit that will be edited. So to edit this, I can simply drag it again to the road I want to do it. And I'll show you one more time uh, for this section. So I can put a point there, put a point there, and then I can simply drag the line to there. And yeah, by setting uh, the control points at each end of the segment that you want to edit, you can ensure that the rest of the route is not changed. So now I'd like to show you a bit about how our freehand tool works for when routing is just not uh, working for you. So for example, we have this route and I've been plotting it along here and I want to stick on this cycle route here, but for some reason, it is not letting me drag it to this green section here. This could be due to 
erroneous data um, from our data source or for various other reasons. But there is a way around it, fortunately. Uh, you can do that by clicking the freehand tool. And then you can simply start dragging it points along the route to where you want it to go. And that does it completely freehand. You can make sure it really sticks to the road. And you can get past that point that was giving you trouble. And then simply you can go back to normal routing and carry on. Now, in order to sync your routes uh, from the web app to the phone, all you have to do is simply on the web app, save the route, and then this will go to your phone. You should now be able to find the route you just created on the website um, in your app. So if you open up the app, uh, go to the profile tab, go to planned routes, and then here it is. So if you want to connect your Garmin device to your BikeMap profile on the app, uh, you have to go to the settings wheel, then go down to integrations, and then what will show up here is a button that says connect, and you have to click on the connect, and then you sign in with your Garmin Connect account. Mine says disconnect because I've already done it. Um, and on the web, if you want to do that, you simply have to go to your account settings, and then you can go down to integrations here and to do the same thing, press the connect button and sign in with your Garmin Connect. Obviously, if it's the same account as on the phone, which I hopefully it will be, uh, you only need to do it in on one of the uh, devices and it will connect your whole account to Garmin. There is no difference between the web and the app. And that is all for this video. I hope it's been very helpful. Um, you can always contact us at support at bymap.net if you have any further questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.